We're live. Gabriel shaking the whole house with his football cleats. Are you are you watching, babe? Are you my one person? No, it's not mm. Okay. Well, we'll just wait then. Is Katie on here? Hi, Katie. I know I was just talking to you on Instagram, but I popped on here. Where's Buddy Butts? She wants to see Butters. Is Hi. Butters around? There's Gabriel. Hi, Lori. Hi, Dolores. Hi everybody. I'm just popping on to share with you guys a haul video. And you know, t this week has not been very good for finding things for us. Um, so I have literally like combined everything together into one haul. Um, Cause other than that, I, I mean, it'd be like three minute videos and YouTube doesn't like three minute videos. So I got everything here, but then later on tonight, um, you'll see like a shop with me. It's like one thing that I have footage from. <sighs> it's really tough to live in the middle of nowhere and do this. <laughs> um, you were just going to do a video of your own. Oh yeah. Go ahead. Go ahead and do, do what you got to do. We can't wait for everybody. You know what I mean? If you waited for a time slot, you would never get to do anything for yourself. And I have, I've got to keep telling myself that. Because I'm constantly like, no, so-and-so is on. No, so-and-so is on. Just go. Do what you got to do. So, anyways, I hope everybody's doing okay. You want to say hello, Gabriel? You want to show what you found? Gabriel, we went to the antique store. We were trying to find some cool glass. Because the thrift store didn't have anything this week. And Gabriel found two things to resell. I have more things. Oh yes, he does have a couple more things from last week, but this is what he found today. Okay. It's, uh, it's a little vintage ashtray, but you know what they use those for, which is really cool. Um, for one, if you wash it, they're saying hi to you, buddy. Hi. Um, you can use it for dipping sauce when you eat. Two. Hi, Amanda. Are you excited for tomorrow? Me and Amanda are going to have a live sale tomorrow at one. So you can use these to rinse out your paint brushes or if you do beading like jewelry making, you can use it to hold your beads on your desk. You can hold your change, all kinds of stuff. So Gabriel picked that. And then this cool thing, I know. This one's really neat, I like this. And we have some New York collectors here. This is why I was like, yeah, I think you should grab this. Hi, Joelle. It All right, is so a vintage Empire State Building thermometer. Get a little bit closer so they can see the thermometer. Isn't that neat? That is really cool. And on the back and on the bottom, it says the Empire State Building. So he picked that with his money from last week. Oh, you're really warm from being out there. Isn't that cool? He came and showed it to me. I was like, that's actually really neat, Gabriel. I think you should get that. So that and he bought a little bit of um, money in his video game. I bought money. Yeah, you have to like use real money to buy money for the game that he plays. So those were Gabriel's finds. Got a couple people that haven't paid. <laughs> or no, that not even that haven't paid, that haven't even emailed me yet. Sure. All right. So, yes, that will be for sale. Gabriel will be selling that one. Those two he bought to resell. Um, and he has a couple of other things that we found at a local thrift store um, last week. But one of them, um, I couldn't get the wax out of. Oh, they said, I want to be like Gabriel when I grow up. Oh, are you coming in? Yeah. All right. <laughs> okay, don't hit the table, remember? All right. I am feeling an orange. Yeah, it's a little cutie, huh? It's kind of warm. That's I wish the, the air would kick on, huh? All right, so I have, like I said, we have a combined haul. We all went over, I took them over to the uh, red, white, and blue thrift store. Uh, it's in Tampa, so it's a good, like, hour drive on the interstate. <laughs> um, 
And it was super busy. I think like they're on spring break and uh, the other county I think is on spring break. Not to mention it's a much busier, much busier city. And there's like, you could tell resellers, they're like scanning things with their phones. And so it was like reseller central that day that we went. It's like everything good was gone. Yeah, so, but we did find a couple of things. Just not kind of the great things that we found the very first time we went there. Um, but good news, the one of the things that I found there actually sold and it paid for my my shopping trip that day plus the next time. So that was pretty awesome. Um, it sold on eBay. It was the frog paperweight. I have some, I've had something in my eye like all day long. Hi, curious cat. We're just doing a little haul video. Actually, I've just been rambling and digging in my eyeball. Um, and eating oranges. <laughs> yeah. So the eBay thing, that did good. I listed a few more things this morning. We went out to try and find some stuff because listen, when you guys see like Amanda from a Hot Mess Vintage, she's, I don't know if you guys know, but her and I are going to do a sale tomorrow at one on my channel here. So make sure you tune back in. Um, but listen, she was showing Aaron and I some of the stuff. She finds some killer stuff and she does, um, she does have a YouTube channel. So if you guys want to go subscribe to her over there, that would be awesome. But she does a lot of live sales on Instagram. Um, so she's going to have some Instagram lingo. She's kind of like, um, worried about that. I was like, girl, say what you need to say. It means the same thing, <laughs> but she has such killer stuff. She has great taste. Um, she has like, um, those are your Friday night plans. Oh, thank you for spending your Friday with us. Um, so I was like, man, sh listen, I gotta be on her level. I gotta be on her level. So I went into the garage and I'm like trying to pick some stuff. I'm like, nope, this is not as good as Amanda's. Nope, neither is this. Nope, okay, we gotta go to the store. Nope. But it just, to this week, it just wasn't very good. I mean, I do have some cool stuff, but um, not, like, not like we can usually do. I was telling Aaron, all the places that are local to us, I think, <laughs> I'm gonna party. Um, I think, oh good. Um, I think we've kind of picked the, uh, the good deals out of them. I mean, there is stuff. Oh, so, there's Blue Flamingo. Lori. Hi, Lori. <laughs> um, I had set, oh, Lori, I set my phone to remind me of y'all's sale and I had already fallen asleep. Um, we didn't have a very good couple of days. <laughs> so uh, I've actually not had a very good couple of weeks, but I'm trying to get like move past that. You know, we got to be trying to stay positive, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, um, you, you think I should do that one? Yeah, this looks very cool. My gosh, I'm sorry. Someone's probably going to be like, oh my gosh, I can't watch you dig in your eye anymore. And they're going to leave me a nasty comment, it. but I can't help it. It's life. Okay. So here's the items that well. Is it only two? Oh wait, three. Oh, that's what it was. I'm like, I know. Yeah, I have to try and stay positive or you go to that dark place in your head that you don't want to be in. Can't go there. Um, I found bags filled and you'll see that in the shop with me video. I think I filmed it. Bags filled with bubble mailers. And I was like, oh my gosh, Aaron, get all those. And I just wanted like, I, we just bought a ton of bubble mail mailers, so that was a bulk of my shopping trip that day. They had bubble mailers, and they had post-it notes, and we just ran out of post-it notes. Oh, thanks. Um, you okay? Your tummy hurts? Oh, you're hot. The air's just now kicked on. Go sit in front of the fan. Turn your fan on and just take a minute and sit there. You can double those with my fan, too. Yeah. Um... <laughs> oh, there's Miss Pamela. Man, I want like something to see the chat. Oh yeah, sorry. I don't even know if my tablet is. My switch is dead. But I'd be you can go see. Chocolate. You can go grab my tablet off the side of my bed and see. We'll see if it's charged. And you have orange peels that you have to pick up. 
All right, let's see what you guys are saying. Bring you out of that funk, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I know I look weird like just pausing here. I'm just seeing what if anybody asked me anything. Okay, because you know I tend to ramble before I show you guys a darn thing. Let me see. I know the code. It's two 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 two. Is this dad's or no, this is mine. I'm gonna bring him up on here so he can read the chat. And I can chat. Are your hands clean? Totally. Mm-hmm. You believe me? Um, let's see. Is it gonna Why say that we're alive? Why are like, commas on here? There you go. I think I turned it down. Yeah. So you can turn it this way, or you can turn it the other way. Whatever's easier for you. And we're buffering. Probably because everybody is on the Wi-Fi. Okay. Anyways, well, just as long as this is going, you'll be good. See, look. See, that's what I just saw. The same thing as you. So you're fine. Okay, so yeah. So red, white, and blue thrift. Got a bunch of bubble mailers. So that's why it seems like I had, okay, good. Um, like a lot more stuff. But as for like resale stuff, um, I found, well, Aaron found this tucked in the back of a shelf. It's uh, the hand-painted, like, bohemian-type glass. Now, there's glass that they sell as, like, bohemian glass, and then there's there's all kinds of different glass or like this, but it's the one with the um, hand-painted, like, enamel flowers. But I thought it was beautiful. It's Gabriel's favorite color, red. Isn't it nice? And it's in such good shape. I mean, you could, there's, oh, I can't even think of it. Scratching the glass. Ooh, makes my teeth hurt. Um, there's like a little bit of scuffing on the, hi Deanna, on the gold. Like right there. But Gabriel, they're talking to you. Oh, he's going to type. He, if you see me talking, that's him. <laughs> so, anyways. Be nice in there. <laughs> so we got that. And then I found this. This is my first, um, now if I'm correct, this wasn't an original color in Fiesta Wear. If I, like Aaron looked it up for me real quick. I gotta get out my Fiesta Wear book. I just picked up one, a Fiesta Wear book at that antique store. I think it, no wait, was it not there? It was a different antique store. It was like $2, like 20% off. So, I don't think this is an original color, right? Like the pink. And um, I'm really bad at the, they write on the bottom of these with Sharpie, uh, with the logos. So that looks like it's coral. Yeah, I don't, I think they're pink. Oh. It's very Art Deco style. But I don't know, I don't think it's an original color, you know, cause they're still, they're, they still made this for however long. But it does say Fiesta, made in USA, and then it's got the Homer Laughlin, that HLC. Um, they don't produce, they didn't produce it for very long. Okay, yeah, so I gotta get my book out. But anyways, this, the vase is Murano. I have a similar one with a sticker. Oh, well, I'll look it up under that. Thank you, Shannon. I'll definitely, that's what I'm saying. Like, people have them listed as like Bohemian glass, but there was other glass companies that did things similar. Um, so unless it has the sticker or you like know for sure, for sure, for sure, like you've seen one before, I can't really say that that's what it is. <laughs> so anyways, I thought this was great piece of, this is my first like picture. I find teacups and cups for days and they don't really sell for me. So I generally don't pick up Fiesta wear. Um, okay. So I showed you that and I showed you that. And then I got this. This has the remnants of a sticker. I found this on a top shelf. It's like this green and blue blown glass. This, it has the remnants of a sticker. And it says, you can see it says glass. And then what's left of Czechoslovakia. So I thought this was pretty neat. And look at the handles. They're like, it's like someone's got their hands on their hips, you know. It's kind of not proportioned right, but I think it's beautiful. 
Gabriel, don't spam the chat with a bunch of emojis. I'm doing selling emojis. Oh, doing selling emojis? Okay. <laughs> okay, so we got that, that, that. Oh, I got this from there. This is a, you know, reproduction tin, the Victrola um, nipper, right? Nipper? I was going to say snipper. Not snipper. Nipper. Dog. But it says his master's voice on the side. I know you do, Katie, because, um, yeah, I know. So this might be one of the things that was coming your way, darling. It says Bristol Ware made in USA on the inside of it. So found him there at the red, white, and blue. I wish that thing was closer. And then this is the only other thing, if I'm looking at everything that we got there, other than the, the oh wait, nope, this guy. Other than the um, bubble mailers. But again, it's a reproduction, but I like the colors and I like the graphics. Nestle chocolate tin. This one's from 1988. It still has the, the little thing down here. Let's see. I will be working on my video now. Wish me luck. Good luck. Um, let's see. Hi, Javier. Okay. All right, so we got that there. And then the last thing I got, I love this guy. This actually, this reminds me of the guy that washes up on the beach in Animal Crossing, the duck. Gulliver? This is right. Oh, I guess his name was Gulliver. But I got this glass uh, figurine slash, I don't know if you'd want to call it a paperweight, but just a glass figurine. I got him there. And there's the game that we play, Animal Crossing. He's got a tiny little, tiny little chip on the side of his beak right there. But um, he, uh, he reminds me of the little duck that washes up on the shore when you play Animal Crossing that has had a few too many drinks. <laughs> and his name is Gulliver. Is so. there bird flies in here? No, probably not. I don't see them very often in the, in the, chat they might be watching but i don't see them often in the chat oh oh you gotta remind people to thumbs up did you thumbs me up we can give ourselves a thumbs up there's no shame in that okay now the other things are from let's see antique store and i got just a few things from goodwill I was very sad at Goodwill. We shopped the case. Now the case items are a lot more expensive. So I paid up for these, but this one is, is the collector. Wait, hold on. I think it's the collectors around the world and it's a, a teapot paperweight that's purple and it's got swirlies and bubbles in there and it's got tape residue on the back, but still has its sticker. But I thought that was beautiful. Aaron spotted this guy. He always in, goes and checks the case, especially when we find nothing on the shelves. And then he spotted this guy. He was a, a hefty little price, this elephant. On the inside, it's like amber and blue. Like this right here is blue. It's a cobalt color when the light is going the correct way. Um, and then there's amber on his tush. I know, where's all the good stuff? And then you go into the antique stores and you're like, where are you getting all this stuff from? So we got those two at Goodwill. What else we, oh, I found this. This is actually listed, um, it, it's, he is a big guy. This is actually listed for like $25 on eBay, but I could tell by the packaging that it was a nicer brand so it made me look it up. It's Nest Fragrances, New York. And I think the only listing that's on there is actually a UK. It's either UK or Canada listing for this. Oh, okay, thank you, Shannon. And it's birch wood and pine. So it sounds 
that sounds. It smells like a Christmas tree mixed with like your man's cologne putting up the Christmas tree. <laughs> That's what it smells like to me. So it's been making me very resourceful. Facebook, you know, listen, Amanda, I got rid of Facebook a while ago, like last year. Um, okay. Hey babe, that guy just texted me back. She said, he said they are there. Just have them call him and he'll offer a discount. But they are there at his booth. What was I saying? Mm, okay, gotta get him off my screen. Um, what was I saying? That just threw me off. I don't remember what I was saying. It just threw me off. But anyways, I picked up this little candle. It's in Eustace. He said it's in Eustace. Is that not regular Wildwood? I don't know. Huh. Maybe that's further. Maybe that's that little place where they have the GameStop that was little and tiny and it stunk. It's in superb condition. What? Oh, thank you, Gabriel. Oh, Facebook. That's what I was saying, Amanda. Hi, junk in her trunk. Um, that I got rid of Facebook and I did sell get back on just for marketplace. Yes. So I used to, well, the area that I was in where we lived before, okay. The area that I was in before, it just seemed like it wasn't very lucrative. Everybody wanted something for nothing, like nothing. Um, like you could list a pair, like we had a pair of, um, it was, they were brand new, I think Pumas or something like, you know, the sneakers. I mean, you can at least get them on Amazon for at least like 25 bucks or so, but they're offering me like $5. And then I had a friend in Canada. I don't know if she still watches my stuff anymore, but, um, she follows me on Instagram. She does killer on Facebook marketplace, killer. And my mom was just telling me today that now you can like take um, different forms of payment, like like PayPal and you can ship stuff off. I mean, that's amazing. So um, I told Aaron, I said, I probably, I don't know if I'd sell anything unless it was a big piece, like come pick it up. Like if we're selling a dresser or something, hey, $20, come pick it up type of thing. Um, but to look for things to buy is what I miss doing because like we found for one of his birthdays, I could not afford a freaking one of those Hot Wheels that the kids drive around. I just couldn't afford it. And um, we found him a Mustang. It was a pink Mustang Barbie car. And I bought it for $40. And I had dad, dad. I, I know the story. He like sprinkled. Yeah, he took it to his work because he painted cars. And he painted it inside and out with car paint. And it looked like a shiny black Mustang when I gave it to him for his birthday. So, um, that's, uh, my story about Facebook marketplace, but I was thinking to get back on there. Let's continue. Okay. So that was, that was Goodwill. Um, what else? Oh, we found this little, bless you, this little egg paperweight. Now, do you guys usually find orange in paperweights? I usually find orange a lot. And orange really isn't a color I go with. So um, I usually end up selling them. I still have something in my eye. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I don't know if you're talking to me or um, 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 Dolores or talking to. Who are you talking Who? You don't see a lot of change at all. Or if they were talking to you, I don't know. Oh, okay, okay, okay. That's what you're talking about. Okay. So, got the little egg. You guys can see I'm like, and then we bought these. These, I love to find hardware there. Let's see. Close your eyes and blow your nose if you can. Oh, you love the egg. So these are vintage like ceramic and they have crazing 
drawer knobs. Oh, to clear your eyes? Okay, well, off camera, I'll do it. <laughs> I'll look crazy on camera. But I love to find hardware and stuff, and I put this stuff on eBay. I usually do pretty well with, like, knobs and, you know, drawer pulls. You know how expensive those things are. Go to Home Depot and get, like, two drawer, drawer pulls, and it's, like, $25 later. The emojis were receipts and boxes. Oh, okay. He's emojiing it up over there. With advertising. Yes. Then we found a Wedgwood. There was a couple of Wedgwood things. There was this, like a blue, but you know that really dark, not really dark, not like a, um, I had to answer the phone. What was orange? This egg paperweight. Um, it was like a dark, like a periwinkle. No, it was just a darker blue. It was in the case. This one was sitting on the shelf. This one says 2001 on it and it has, I don't know, doo-doo about Wedgwood. I honestly don't. And the, I just know that I'm attracted to the black and white one. So, but anyways, we just picked this up for a couple bucks. So I didn't look it up. I didn't look it up while I was in the store. I just kind of went with it. You know, even if I offered it in the sale for a little bit, you know, you guys get a deal and I get my money back. That's the name of the game, isn't it? All right. Now I think, oh wait, and this, this is from Goodwill as well. So I grabbed this. Hi, Pamela13, to put in Gabriel's room. It's a Christmas plate? I don't know. It's it's three angels, and they're riding in a chariot, and one the baby angel is riding like a swan or something. But I got this to put in Gabriel's room because the little over-the-door hook... Um, I mean you're live. Yes, I'm live. The little over the door hook doesn't allow his door to shut. So Aaron's going to put this up for me so he has a little hook to hang his towel and his bathrobe and stuff. So that's for Gabriel's room. And then the last thing that comes from Goodwill is I got this signed lamp. It's a, it's a native piece. Um, it's signed right there. But I've done okay with the vases that are, and the, like if you get the um, ones that are shaped like a bear or things like that that are like hand painted. And it's a smaller one, like it's almost like boudoir lamp size. It's not giant. See like, look, it's, it's a small piece. That's why I'm like, okay. It doesn't have a shade. I'm cool with it. It's signed. I like it. I like native and like Southwestern stuff. I don't really decorate with it, but I'm attracted to it. Okay, the rest of the things that I'm gonna show you come from a few different antique stores. We like scoured the shelves for like cool stuff for you guys, but I mean, what I found was cool, but there were so many other cooler things if they would have just put their freaking boots on sale or something. Like, gotta make this one. you would make it up in volume. Oh, thanks Gabriel. No, not too bad to ship. No, that one should be fine. And obviously, the closer you live, the better deal you get. Okay, so I'm just getting my stuff straight here. This, 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 and this. Okay, so I got these for us because I think these are awesome. Hi, Janice. Hi, Janice. <laughs> so these are modern, but I have always wanted, like, I don't know if you guys know. Some of you probably know. But back in the day, like stage coaches and stuff, even like motor vehicles, but um, but early motor vehicles had good job. Twenty nine likes. Twenty nine likes. We need. We got seventy three people watching. We need more. Um, they had you know the wall mounted like a car base. Not that I could would mount it in my car. I would just like to have one of those. These kind of reminded me of them. So I was like. Hi, Angela. I was like, oh my gosh, it's only 12 bucks for the pair. I told Aaron I wanted them for the house. So I got a pair of these wall mounted vases and I can like, it looks like maybe someone spray painted them already or painted them with something, but, but I could change the color of them 
if I wanted. You know, you could go over it with like a black and then a white and you can scuff them up and make them look farmhousey if you wanted, kind of make this look wooden. Or you can do like an oil rubbed bronze or something like that, but I just love these. Hi, Danny. So it came in a set of two for um, $12, so aren't they fancy? I know. And then I found this. I just thought it was so sweet. It says on the bottom, I know it's clear, but it says patent applied for, and it has, it looks like an oval with a diamond going through the oval and the letter B is what it looks like, or the number eight. I'd have to look in my bottle book. Peterson just liked your message. Oh, okay. Um, <laughs> Gabriel needs to be my marketing manager. I know both of my kids are like good at it, but not when they like you want them to do it. <laughs> so anyways, this one has a little clear heart stopper. It does, Gabriel, you're shaking the table. It does have a chip in the stopper, but I just thought it was so sweet and it's like a small one. You could have it in your bathroom. I always tell you guys that like bubble bath or you can even like if you had a fancy laundry room, like that'd be a dream to have like a fancy laundry room. You could have bottles with like your laundry soap. And I mean, I know that's like a little much, it's a lot. But listen, if you gotta be like stuck at home, why not be stuck somewhere you like to be? <laughs> somewhere that's pretty, right? Okay, what are you doing with all the emojis? What are you typing, extra pay? If I'm your manager. Oh, if he's the manager, he needs extra pay. But I buy you candy and I buy you Gatorades. Isn't yes. that enough? And Takis and toys. <laughs> okay. The next thing I purchased, I thought this was really cool. It's a piece of like pressed glass, but it's a little clear hand. I mean, it's a, it's a little one. It's a little clear hand. So we picked that up at the antique store. And then we got this little, would you guys, would you guys call this a baby planter? They're saying, say no, more money. <laughs> it's a little lamby lamb. It's cute for spring, right? If you had like maybe like pastel -y, like pink or blue or purple, like bottle brush trees left. Like um, I followed a girl like in the crafting community that would have them out all year. And she had them on like little shelves and had all the bottle brush trees in all the different rainbowy colors. And it was really pretty. Someone but you could put that in there. Like the name in the video, but... Oh, I misspelled it. Whoopsie. <laughs> Thief. Thief. I didn't know my that. my uh, fingers went a little fast. <laughs> Love the name of the video. So that was actually that was an accident. <laughs> well, <laughs> I promise nothing was stolen in the making of this video. Whoops. <laughs> okay, the next thing I got was this Murano owl. Very cool. Yep, it just says, right? Or please don't tell me it's, it's not the one where they say it's the art like Murano. I don't think that's the sticker. I'm hoping this is just Murano, you know. Hi, Brianna. But I got this owl. It's so cool when you look at it through the light, his, the legs grow grow, glow, red. So we got that guy. He's got cool eyeballs and up here is all blue. Then we got this jar of buttons. Now I do see jars of buttons a lot, but they're usually pretty up there. And I used to have all kinds of buttons and I will buy and sell buttons because there's people that collect buttons. There's people that sew, you know, buttons can be expensive. So what does the sticker say? It says, uh, it's in Italian. Cristellaria de Arte Murano. I'm thinking it's like similar 
it says a style of Murano glass. I'm thinking that's what it says. But there's other stickers that say something a little bit different. And it's the art style of Murano. So, so ask what the sticker says. Yeah, I just told him. But anyway, so we got jar buttons. Oh, uh, someone's... Um, will all this be in the sale? The only things that won't be in the sale are one of the tins. Um, probably the candle. Yeah, it's in the style. Yeah, I figured. Um, because that'll be eBay. Oh, Gabriel's hook thing. And then, like, my wall thingies. So, pretty much. Okay, so I have a few more things. I found this Witch Automatic Needle Threader in the original package. Someone liked my meme. And for people looking at the title, be like, and I put the ring this thing. So. Hmm. Send Maria the big buttons for the hat she makes. Oh. Okay. <clears throat> so, yeah. I just thought the packaging was cool and the fact that it says witch. Or like this. You could put it out at Halloween. I don't know. Just an idea. Then I found this really cool guy. He can hardly read what it says, but it says Japan on the sticker. But it's a spaghetti bunny. A pink spaghetti bunny. So I thought he was really cool. I know I like the packaging too. Then I found these, these are modern, well made in the Philippines and it's Beth Bethany Low Designs, but they're little, um, they're little paper mache bunnies. And if you've ever seen the big paper mache bunnies, the old paper mache bunnies, they can get pricey. So I got these two little guys, little paper mache bunnies. These might end up staying in my collection only because my Easter stuff was pee peed on by the cat. So I might save those. All right, and the last few things I have are Grimm's Fairy Stories book. Now, this one has been read to death. But this one has a copyright of 1931. 1931, let me see. So, got that. And then we got After the Sun Sets, the Wonder Stories book. We got this one and this. Someone wrote in it and put September 1943. It looks like it. Valentine. And that there's, huh? Oh, thank you, Gabriel. This one says copyright 1938, but throughout the book, there's all kinds of pictures, like color pictures, and black and white pictures all throughout the book. So this was really cool. And if you guys like to decorate with the spines, this is a good color for fall. So got that. We found a 1960s Dr. Seuss book. We all seen Dr. Seuss. And then the last thing that I found was this, and I didn't open it in the store, but it looks like it says Ruth E. Newton. So it's the art of Ruth Newton. And they had it packaged like tape, so I didn't want to ruin their packaging. So I didn't open it in store, I just bought it. Let's see what we have. It feels, these feel really nice, like material almost. Oh, but they were cut up, like look at this. And look, it says Peter Rabbit, but it was cut off. Look how cute. So that's one page. Here's another page. Oh. And then 
got this one. People get so confused about how to spell my name. That's okay. Just show them how to spell it. There's your own aunt calls you Gabrielle. I mean, it happens. Then there's this one. It's okay, Marty. I'm just about done with the haul video. So you can feel free to go back and watch <laughs> and leave a comment. Leave a comment on what your favorite item was. That would be really nice and what you guys might have left behind, just like you do in the other videos. Live videos don't get a lot of comments. And this is the last one. That is the last one. Poor bunny. He's sad. Oh. That is it. That is what I found this week. You did that fast. That was about 40 minutes. But that's what I found this week. So that's why I kind of put it all into one one video there. Um, so tomorrow at one o'clock, make sure you guys, if you can, stop back here because myself and Hot Mess Vintage, she's got a YouTube channel. She's really nice. Her name's Amanda. Um, she has YouTube and Instagram. Um, she has she has wicked style. Like I love her stuff that she has. And she takes the best freaking pictures for her stuff. Like I wish I lived next to her and then she could just take pictures of my stuff. <laughs> but we're gonna have a live sale tomorrow at one o'clock if you guys wanna come back and check that out. Um, there'll be, it's probably an all offer up sale. Um, like she was trying to talk to me about pricing. I was trying, I'm like, girl, I don't even know. So let's just do offer ups and then you guys can decide what it's worth to you. So that's how that'll be. We'll have like 20 items a piece. So it's not gonna be, yes, it's gonna be here on my channel at one o'clock. We've been posting about it on Instagram. So if you don't follow us over there, you're not hearing a lot of the news. So I suggest you go follow. Um, let's see what else. And then on Sundays, we have the regular live sales here on the channel at one in the afternoon. And that is where you'll see a lot of the stuff that I show you in the shop with me videos or in the haul videos. And if you're ever interested in anything, feel free to just email me and see. Most of the time I just ask, hey, make me an offer. Um, because that's what I ask of you guys in the live sales. Make me an offer. <laughs> so anyways, guys, thank you so much for joining me. Um, I really appreciate it. And thank you for your help, Gabriel. <laughs> All right, guys, we'll talk to you guys again really soon.